Hi everyone, I'm so excited you're here. My name is Dustin Ripkins. I wanted to change it up today and do a little training session. This is a pure strength training session. We're gonna focus on biceps, back, and core. Of course, the whole body is involved at some point of time in certain ways, but this is our focus, bicep, back, and core, all right? What we need today is just some dumbbells. You can use any kind of weight you have um, and a mat. I already have a mat here. Sometimes I use the other mat if I need it a little softer. Otherwise, I just want you to follow along. Please be careful, really focus on form. With weight training, it's easy to injure yourself. So really listen to the cues. Don't overdo the weight if it's new to you. If you're familiar, do you. But if you're not, if it's new to you, please be careful. Also, if you enjoy what I do and you like the workout, at the end of it, press the subscribe button and the thumbs up that really helps my channel so I can bring you more content. And last but not least, become a part of the community. I love our inclusive um, and beautiful community. Be a part of it, comment below, show up for other videos, other workouts. Hit me up on Instagram, let's start a conversation. I love getting to know you. All right, with that being said, let's go with a quick warm up. all right? Have a deep inhale. Exhale out. By the way, if you have a smartwatch, if you want to set it, I already set mine right before we started and I put it on weight training or sometimes maybe it says strength training and bring your arms front to back. Good, just a quick warm up. Now, what can we expect? Well, first we do a warm up. As I said, we have three strengthening moves um, to get the body warm. Then we have three blocks. The first two blocks are four moves. The last block is only three blocks, uh, three moves. And we're gonna do 12 reps of most moves at the beginning, later on 15 reps and reach out. But don't even worry about it. Just follow along and just make sure your body is getting warm. Ready? From here, we go squat down and I'll push your weight back. That's it, squeeze through the heel chest open and very good four more three more two more one more now pulse it down bring your arms up good go eight seven six five four three two now cross your arm lengthen your legs maybe open them a little further exhale come on down just as far as you can release your lower back Release any tension in your body. If you want, you can slightly sway side to side. Remember, we don't want to have a deep, deep stretch here. We're not warm yet. We're just warming up. Four more. Three, two, one. Soften your knees, release your arms, roll up. All right, first move, warm up move. We're gonna worm down, one or two push-ups, come back up. If you need to come down onto your knees for the push-up, not a problem. Here we go, inhale. Exhale, come down and push up one or two push ups and come on up. Now, I will do my tempo. You can do your tempo. If you want to go faster or slower, you can. Later on, when we have a number for the reps, of course, you can do your number, say 12, and then pause. If you're quicker than me, well, you have a bigger break. All right, but I always encourage you make it not about the speed. The quality of the movement is way more important than being done, even though I know we want to kind of get done, right? Good. Let's do two more here. And abdominals in tight. Beautiful. One more, the last time you can stay down after the push ups. Stay down. Good, if you haven't grabbed your mat yet, you may want to grab your mat, lay it down because we're about to lay on our chest. Our hands are next to our head, up down. You lift it up and up. We're warming up the back. If this is too much, place your hands onto the floor and lift yourself up from here. Squeeze and Good, really squeeze through your back, it's a long neck. It's 
five more shoulders down. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Two more. One more. And come on out. Push yourself back into child's position for a quick second. We're gonna go into a high plank, all right? Looks like this. We're gonna do some shoulder taps while we're in the high plank. So your shoulders are over your palm, palms. Make sure your palms are nice and tight in. Long legs, open your legs, shoulder width apart. Really anchor them into the floor. Now when you're ready, tap your opposite shoulder. We do roughly 30 seconds. Breathe, breathe, squeeze. Now I say roughly, I don't have a timer right here, but it would be, you know, roughly 30. And squeeze, make sure your hips stay still, your neck is nice and long, really lengthen through your spine, nice and strong, keep it tight. Good, let's do two more taps on each shoulder. Now hold it here, if you need a break, come down onto your knees. If you can, keep going right away, come into a forearm plank, otherwise come onto your knees and then go into your forearm plank. Good, from here, walk your legs together, squeeze your glutes, lengthen your spine and just hold it. Nice, I love planking because it really fires up your whole body. It really makes sure the navel is tight, your center is strong, which we always need. No matter what move we have, we want to make sure our midsection is nice and tight. Good, long spine, lengthen your legs, squeeze your booty. Good. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, navel in, three, two, and one. Come on out. All right. That was our little warm up. Now we're gonna go into the first block. Four moves, 12 reps each move. We're gonna start with a deadlift and row. Looks like this. Before I grab the weight, feet are parallel. We're gonna go down, long spine. I'm rowing up, lengthen my arms, squeeze through my glutes, come up. My knees are always slightly softened. I'm driving my hips back. All right, I'm gonna start with 30s. You pick whatever weight is good for you, all right? All right, I'm gonna face you. Feet parallel, hip width apart, ready and go. Down, row, and remember, it's the quality of the movement, not the speed. And depending on how heavy your weight is, sometimes we just need a little bit more power and speed to push the weight up. But if you can control it, great. Nice. If you have different weights and you feel like it's too easy for round two and three, I'm definitely gonna recommend you going heavier. By the way, sometimes when I talk, I forget to count. It just happened. So let's do three more. We were like at eight or nine. So let's say this is 10, two more. Really lengthen through your back. You feel your glutes and the back of the legs working and hopefully your back from here. Navel in tight. If you need to grab a lighter weight, grab a lighter weight. Hammer curls. Try to keep your elbows as still as possible and squeeze. If this is too much, do one arm at a time. All right. I'd rather you go a little heavier and challenge yourself and go one arm at a time than doing both and not having good form. Four more. Three more. Two more, one more, very good. All right, I think I'm gonna go slightly heavier for round two for the deadlifts. We shall see how the hammer curls turn out. Now we wanna lay down onto our back. We're gonna go into around the world, 12 each round, meaning 12 each way, but we're alternating, okay? So we're circling around, chin of the chest. This is one. Come on, pull your navel in nice and tight. And breathe. Very good. Keep breathing, keep fighting, keep pushing your whole back into the floor. All right, halfway, six more. There's no tension in your neck. Your neck is 
just cut, not loose of course, but you don't want to cramp it up, you don't want to tuck your chin in too tight. Four more. Nice. Three more. Two more. And one more each way. You can do it. And all right, now for the warm up. We did our chest raises working through the back. Now we're gonna do supermans, but I'm gonna show you a version where we're gonna add those arms, okay? I'm gonna keep my feet on the floor for this one. I'm gonna lift up, drive my elbows back, come back and down. All right, this was just an example. Let's do it all together, 12 reps. Up, squeeze. Now you feel your upper back working when you pull your arms back. So the great thing is we're working our shoulders as well. And careful you're not going too fast. You always want to each move before moving into the next move. Five more. Good, three more. One more. And come on back. All right, this is first round of the first block. We do all four moves two more times. Have a quick breather if you need a quick sip of water. Now, if you feel like, hey, any weight was too heavy or too light, now is the time to switch if you have different weights. All right, I'm gonna go up to 35. Let's see what's gonna happen. We're gonna go deadlift and row. Whew. All right, here we go. Feet parallel, chest open, rib cage in, and 12 reps. And squeeze through your glutes. Very good. Good, four down, eight to go. Drive your hips back, push your feet heavy into the floor, four more. Two more. The more you lean forward, the harder it gets for your back. All right, if you can, go right away into the hammer curls. And Good, 12 reps. If you stay with me, three more. All right, good job. Let me put them to the side so you can see me. All right, we're gonna go into around the world. Carefully lay down, navel in tight. Catch your breath, and here we go. 12 times right, 12 times left. Now I'm not gonna talk the whole entire time so that you can enjoy the music and you can just focus on your form without me interrupting your thoughts the whole time. Halfway, keep going. Can you lift a little higher? Good, two more. One more. Hug your knees in, coming up, good job. Turn around, lay onto your stomach, arms forward, ready, lift it up, pull it in, and down. Very good.
four more. Two more. And come on out. Good job. How are you feeling? All right. Round three. I'm gonna stick with my 35s for the deadlift. So I feel like for my arms for the hammer curls was pretty damn good. Um, you pick whatever you weight you want for round three. You ready? Always make sure you bend your knees when you pick up your weights so you're not injuring yourself. Now third round is the hardest. Focus on form. Here we go. Deadlift row, long spine, long neck. Keep everything tight, focus. Six more. Three more, are you still squeezing through your glutes on the way up? One more. And up. Oh. I nearly forgot hammer curls. Here we go. Try to keep your arms as still as possible. Six more. I might have given you an extra one, that's okay. Two more. One more, very good. Put your weight to the side. Around the world, let's go. Carefully come down, you're doing great. And circle it around. And breathe. Now, are you working with your conscious? Are you conscious about the movement? Six more. Or are you just trying to get to the end? If you're just going through the motion, why even bother, right? Like, why we're working out if we're not focusing on the muscles we're engaging right now? Our abdominals, our obliques, our back is pushing into the floor. And our whole trunk is engaged. Come on, three more. Two more. One more. And come on out, hug your knees in. Come on up. You're doing good, I know we like, go, go, go. But we wanna get it done. Here we go, lift it up, squeeze through your shoulders. Bring it down, up, and down, and nice and control. Six more. Three more. Two more. One more. And come on out. All right. Yes, very good. All right, let's have a quick moment. This is block one. We have block two, block three. S second block, four movement, 12 reps, 15 reps. All right, 12, 12, 15, 30 seconds. We're gonna do a shoulders, core, and full body. We're gonna start with some shoulder flies. I'm gonna pick up 15s. No, let me pick up 20s. I'm gonna do 20s, shoulder fly, and the bicep curls. Now, sometimes 
you want to go slightly lighter for the shoulder flies. Am I gonna regret my decision? We're gonna find out in a second. All right, so we want to come into a leaning forward position again, similar to the deadlift, where you come forward, round your arms. Try to bring your arms uh, under your chest. Ready? We're gonna open it up, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and pinch, 12 reps. Nice and strong. If it's too much, you can sink down when you bring your arms up. I believe two more. One more. Come on up. Breathe. Hammer curls. Quick up, slowly down. Up, slow, slow, slow. Up, slow, down. Soften your knees. Strong core. Mm -hmm. Yes. Look at my arms. Try to keep them still. Three more. Yes. One more. And come on out. Very good. Put your weight carefully down. Lay down. Place your hands under your booty. Long legs. You can flex them if you wish. Navel in tight. We go down. Up. 15. 15 reps here. Only go as high as you can hold it here. You don't want to go too far and then low, not lower than your hips. Think of at least a foot off the floor, otherwise your hip flexor is grabbing. So be conscious and careful. Eight. Good. Nine. Six more. And squeeze. Two more, one more, and hug it in, carefully come on up, turn around. Now we're going to do cross mountain climbers for 30 seconds, so bring your right knee to your left elbow and vice versa, shoulders over, abdominals and ready, 30 seconds roughly. Keep everything nice and tight. Halfway. Really drive your knees in. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and catch your breath. You feel how strong your core is getting? I can feel mine. All right, carefully, come up. Catch your breath. Then we're gonna go into round two. I'm gonna try to stick with my 20s. Let's see how it goes. All right. Chest open, rib cage in, lean forward and make sure your arms are rounded. You pinch your shoulder blades together along the spine. You're basically hugging the spine. Four more. Good job. All right. Again, if it's too much doing both at once, you can alternate. Quick up, slowly down. Alright, six more. Four more. Three more. Reset, two more. Good job. Alright, put your weight to the side. <laughs> you can smile in between. We're gonna do our leg drops. Carefully lay down, hands under your booty or just next to you. 
whatever you prefer. Legs up, I like to flex my feet. Down, up. Fifteen. Good, this is thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hug it in, carefully coming up. Thirty seconds, mountain climbers. Abdominals in tight. All right, shoulders long away, legs long, core tight, ready, set, go. See if you can drive your knee tighter in. All the way in, good. Halfway. Last, five, four, three, two, one, and come on out. Yes, 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 we are already past the of our workout. We're already two rounds into our second set. Let's do one more set, breathe. Let's see if I can stick with my 20s. Now some of you might be like, okay, 20s, this exercise is simple. Some of you might be, this is crazy heavy. Doesn't matter. You do whatever is best for you. There's no competition. The only person you're competing with is you. You and yourself, we wanna make progress along the way. It's not about perfection. Even if you're like, hey, I wanna use that weight, but I can only get eight reps in clean with good form. That's all right. Just do eight. Next time, do nine. Next time, 10, all right? Here we go. Open your chest and... See, I gave us a little break here. Four more. Two more. One more. Good job. All right, here we go. Quick up, slowly down. Halfway. Keep your elbows in tight. Soften your knees, all right? Chest open. Two more. One more. Come on out. All right, put the weight to the side. Oh, I'm excited for the third block. What's happening here? Oh. All right, lay down, legs go down and up. I'm dripping from my eyebrows. And. Come on up, turn around, turn around. Here we go. Mountain climbers, shoulders over your palms. And drive your knees in, stay strong, stay tight. Yes, 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 yes. Very good. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All righty. Quick break. Now we have three moves in the last set. 15, 15, 15 reps. We're going to do a dumbbell swing. You only need one dumbbell. If you only have lighter dumbbells and you feel like you want to go heavier, you can use two. Really squeeze them together if they're if it's possible, you can swing it, but please be careful. Otherwise, just use one. I'm going to use one. I'm going to go with 45. Then we're going to do push-ups. Then we're going to do abs. Three rounds, and we're done. So grab a weight that's good for you. Again, either one or two. You want to push through your glutes. Let your arms swing automatically. It's not your arms lifting up, your whole body is swinging through. The power really comes out of your glutes, all right? The weight doesn't need to go all the way up to chest level. Maybe a tick higher. Let your glutes fire up. I'm gonna be on an ankle. Ready? Feet parallel, anchor your feet. And 15 reps. Careful you're not pushing through the knees. Push through the glutes. Five more. Two more. One more. Carefully, come on out. You choose anywhere between 10 and 15 push-ups. Arms, careful, not too far apart. Right under your shoulders. Elbows go diagonally back. If you open it too far, your elbows wanna go out. Keep it in tight. But also, you don't need to bring it all the way back. Just diagonal. If it's too much, come onto your knees. If it's too much, do it against the wall. You pick. All right, you can start with long legs if you want and then come onto your knees whenever you need to. Many possibilities. All right, here we go. You count for yourself. Keep your chest between your palms. I'd rather you do one push-up, but a clean with good form, then 10 and you're like somewhere here. Okay, keep your chest between your palms. Yes, you count for yourself. Nice. All right. Turn around, fingertips towards your uh, heels. You can keep your hands here or you bring them in front of you. You want to round your lower back, tuck your pelvis under, we go in, in. If you want, bring your hands forward. 15 reps. Five, four, just open. Three, two, one. Yes. Two more rounds, three movements, meaning really six, exercises and we're gonna stretch stay with me don't go anywhere stay with me you came so far let's do our dumbbell swing ready in three two one and long spine fire up through your glutes Five more. Two more. One more. Yes. Careful. Carefully, come on down. All right. Let's go into push-ups, shall we? From here, chest open. Five, uh, 10 to 15 push-ups. Feel your chest working. Feel your biceps working. Nice and controlled. Keep your booty tight. Shift your weight forward. Come on. And breathe. I know it's very much to do so many push-ups at the end of the workout, but it's worth it. Ready? Abdominals, fingertips towards the heels or forward. 
Tuck your lower back, chest open. I'm catching my breath. Nice. Long neck. Four. And three. Two. One. Breathe. How are you doing? As I mentioned earlier, if you like what I do, if you like this workout, by the way, we have one more round. But give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Mostly I do working and dance workouts, some five or 10 minute strengthening videos. I just wanted to throw this in for the taking so you can do this more often. If you want more of this, let me know in the comments below. All right, that was your break. Let's go into the last round of dumbbell swings. As you can hear, I'm out of breath. So I might be a little bit more quiet now. Here we go, 15. Last round, focus on your form. Feel your back working, feel your glutes working. Two more, one more. Yes, put the weight away. Push-ups, come down, 15. Good, keep fighting. Ah. By the way, oftentimes I'm just talking to myself. It helps you, hopefully, but it helps me too. All right, last 15, ready? Five more, stay strong. Two more, one more, and come on out. Very good, very good. Now, we're gonna do a quick cool down, cool, uh, quick stretch. If you feel like you wanna do more, I have a whole playlist here. You can do more, either cardio or strengthening. I will see you in the next workout. Otherwise, stay with me. Let's do a quick cool down. Place one leg on top of the other, figure of four stretch. Now, as I mentioned, this is a quick cool down. I recommend whenever you're done, either now or later, to do a good five minute stretch. Switch side. And good, stretch out your glutes. Hug your knees in. Carefully sit up, turn around. From here, cat cow, round your back and arch your back to release any tension in your back. And from here, bring your fingertips towards your knees, shift your weight back. This is a little uncomfortable sometimes, especially if you're new to it. Breathe through it and only go as far back as it feels okay. Like, depending on how much you can handle, okay? And slowly, come on back. Last one, cobra stretch, lay down. You can either just come here or lift yourself up as high as you can. Relax your neck, push your shoulders down. One more time, come down, hands in, push up. And from here, carefully come back. Cross your legs. Thank you so much for making it all the way to the end. You're amazing. Now, let me know in the comments below how you like it, if we should do more of those. And otherwise, I'm wishing you a fantastic rest of a day. Keep working out hard. Keep making you and your health a priority. All right, you rock. Bye-bye.